This tutorial video is for grade 10, Introduction for Sequences. You will encounter four different types of sequences. We have the arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, harmonic sequence, and the Fibonacci sequence. But before we discuss all those four sequences, let us first define what is a sequence. A sequence, it is an ordered set of numbers formed according to some pattern or rule. So, sequence is dealing about the pattern or rule. And that is denoted by, for the first term, we have, for the first pattern, term, we, know, we will name it as term. The A1, for the first term, a sub 2 for the second term, A sub 3 for the third term, A sub 4 for the fourth term, and so on. Okay? Let's say we have 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. So this is our A1. A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, and A sub 5. What will be our A sub 6? and A sub 7, or the A6 and A7. Look at the pattern, 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. The pattern is the multiples of 3. So next will be 15, next to 15 is 18. Another example. 11, 6, 1, negative 4, negative 9. What will be our next term? And next to it. So our next term is, take a look at the pattern. We subtract 5 to get the succeeding term. 11 minus 5, that is 6. 6 minus 5, that is 1. 1 minus 5, negative 4. Negative 4 minus 5, negative 9. So the next term is negative 9 minus 5, negative 14. Next to negative 14 is negative 9. Next pattern is 200, 100, 50, 25. We're going to find the next two terms. So what rule did we use in our pattern? 100, if we're going to divide by 2, that is uh, 200, if we're going to divide by 2, will give us 100. 100, if we're going to divide by 2, will give us 50. 50 divided by 2, 25. So the next step is 25 divided by 2. That is 12.5. To get the next term, 12.5 divided by 2, so 12.5 divided by 2, so that is 6, 12, bring down 5, then 0, 0, then 50 divided by 2, 25, so 2 decimal, 1, 2, period, so 6.25. So our next pattern, or the next term, is 6.25. So that is the sequence. Again, you will encounter the arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, harmonic sequence, and the Fibonacci sequence. Let's have another example for our sequence. 
generate the first five terms of the sequence defined by f of n is equal to 1 over 2n. So we need to get the first five terms. The a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. So let's solve. If we have the first term or the f sub 1 is equal to 1 over, just substitute n to our value of n. In this case, 1. So 2 times 1. So 1 over 2 times 1, which is 2. This will be our f1 or the first term. Next, f of 2. 1 over change n to 2. 2 times 2. 1 over 2 times 2, which is 4. Next, f of 3, 1 over 2 times 3. So 1 over 2 times 3, 6. f of 4, 1 over 2 times 4, which is 1 over 8. And last, f of 5, 1 over 2 times 5, which is 1 over 10. First 5 terms, the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now, let us try to write our sequence. So our sequence is 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 over 6, 1 over 8, and 1 over 10. This is now our first five terms of the sequence defined by f of n is equal to 1 over And now our second example, given the sequence described by b of n is equal to 2n minus 4, find the 7th and the 10th term. So we're going to find b7 and b of 10. So copy... 2n minus 4, 2n minus 4. Next will be substitute n to our volume. So 2 times 7 minus 4. 2 times 7, that is 14 minus 4. And 14 minus 4 is 10. Next, 2 times 10 minus 4. 2 times 10, that is 20 minus 4. And this is 16. So this will be our 7th term and 16 will be our 10th term. So that is the sequence. Now, before we proceed in the arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, Fibonacci, and harmonic sequence, I will introduce to you first what is a series. In our next video, you should watch what is a series. Thank you for watching Senior Public TV, and I hope you learn this lesson, Introduction to Sequences, and the Definition of Sequence.